Peace and blessings, family. It's me, a come for a full so why. I bring you evening greetings on behalf of Insurma Services. I am the head of Come For Us, or light worker at Insurma Services. And I come to you, if not daily, every other day to share a little bit about my divine downloads. That's, that's what I call them. When I get um, different topics and things I want to think about relative to traditional African spirituality and energy clearing. Please check out our website, insormaservices.com. That's N S. O-R-O-M-M-A services, S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S dot com. We also on Instagram and Sroma services and we're on Facebook fan page. So like, subscribe and here on YouTube, follow us, spread the word so the divine download can be transmitted and shared with others. So I'll share a little bit about what's been going on with me as my husband and I were preparing for fall. We have a very busy schedule, a lot going on. We're preparing to travel to Sedona for a spiritual tune-up or a spiritual alignment. We're looking forward to that. And then we are closely approaching the holidays. It has gotten very cold in the DMV rather quickly. We weren't expecting it to chill off so fast, but here in the DMV, it got cool. So my husband and I were working on making sure that we cleared our home and the energy in our home as we prepare for winter and fall. So one of the things we do is smudging or using an incense, sage or Palo Santo to clear our home of any negative spirits, energy, or just anything that we want to remove from our home before we start a new season. Now, smudging is an age old practice. It's ancient. It can be traced all the way back to ancient Egypt or Kemet. It also was used by the Native Americans as a way of cleansing and healing. So it's an age old technique. So you don't have to be, um, a new age or it's not considered necessarily new age. These are ancient traditions that can be traced back thousands of years. A lot of people like to think of smudging or sage in your home as a new age <laughs> technique, but it's actually quite ancient. And if you do your research, you can find that. But in essence, it is a blessing um, where you want to clear any energy, um, stale old energy that has been in your house throughout the summer and the prior months. And you want to prepare for the new my husband and I are preparing um, for the new year, 2019, to be one of our best years ever. So a part of that smudging is to take dried herbs and to use them, open the windows in our home and to use them to clear our space. So that'll be one of our weekend practices. Um, and I know people are skeptical and they think, you know, what in the world is this? This is not, there is no benefit to it or it doesn't make any sense. But if you truly believe that you want to clear and set an intention to have a welcoming environment, um, it's all in how you in set your intention or what you intend to do. We intend to do this so that our home is welcoming. We have clean energy. It's open for the holidays. My family comes to visit. His family comes to visit. We want a wholesome, warm, welcoming environment. As the seasons change, as we prepare for a new year, we want to do this to clear out our any energy left in our home as we prepare for something new. So I think it's a technique worth giving it a try. If you haven't, I suggest that you at least give it a try. Um, it's surprising to find that the smoke and the and the herbs, the dried herbs, the smoke from the dried herbs is a delivery system that is most effective. It can penetrate. Um, it can penetrate your hair, your skin, your clothes, and definitely penetrate curtains and fabrics and um, sofas and everything in your home so that medicinal smoke can clear out any residue or residual energies that may be in a particular thing. So um, I just want to say that's what we're doing, smudging. I think you ought to give it a try. <laughs> Don't be a skeptic. Give it a try. Um, if you want to know more about house clearing or energy clearing or house blessings, um, the team here at Enswama Services, that is one of the services that we perform amongst many others. Check us out at our website, enswamaservices.com, um, to see all of the things we offer. But feel free to give us a call. If you go to our page and click book a session with the Acomfo, you will hear from somebody on our team and we will chat with you a little bit more in a complimentary or free discovery session to see what it is you want and what, it, what you have going on and how we may be able to support you. Once we do that, then we book, you can book your appointment with myself or someone else on the team, give or take what the services are you need. So 
smudging is the day of the word, the word of the day, <laughs> excuse me, smudging is the word of the day. It is the activity for this weekend in our home. And I suggest or recommend that you give it a try as well. So again, reach us at Insrama Services. I'm a come for a full so I, and I want to say have a wonderful weekend. Oh, don't forget, we'll be live on Facebook tomorrow, November 17th from two to four. And we'll have a workshop on how you can incorporate traditional African spirituality, um, most definitively a con culture, which one I practice, as well as we have a special guest speaker who will share about Yoruba practices of the people of Nigeria um, and other places, but my, mainly Nigeria. But at any rate, we're doing a, a live free global event tomorrow, live on Facebook from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And please join us so we can talk about how incorporate, how you can incorporate traditional African spirituality and ancient techniques for our modern lives. Of course, we're not um, living like our ancestors did in every sense, but we can still utilize those age old processes and age old practices such as smudging to activate us and to keep us on our right path and to keep us focused and to keep us clear and to keep us open so that we may hear from source and be able to make the best moves for us in our life. So again, join us live on Facebook tomorrow, November 17th from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. on our Facebook fan page at Insroma Services. We'll be doing a live global free event where you can ask questions of myself we have a Yoruba um, priestess, myself, and, and the Insurama Services team. So join us tomorrow. We look forward to it. And if we don't get you tomorrow, we hope that you'll contact us at our webpage and we can continue to grow from there. So have a blessed day and have a wonderful weekend. Peace.